The Science and Stage Collaborative Fellowship is a new initiative by Superhero Clubhouse. The fellowship is an extension of the lab, which is a workshop we've been developing for the last three to four years as a way to investigate collaboration between theater artists and environmental experts. The fellowship is a four-month residency in which a select group of six to seven environmental experts and theater artists participate in a series of lab workshops and also attend a series of events curated around the theme of climate change. The lab workshop, which is the core of the fellowship, begins with a presentation of research by one of the science-based fellows and culminates in short performances made by participants. In between, there's a series of creative response exercises that are led by leaders of Superhero Clubhouse as well as the theater-based fellows who share their own expertise, such as songwriting, playwriting, or various approaches to performance or directing. So over the course of the four months, the fellows are working together and using the tools that they learn from this process to create an original performance that the, they then share with a public audience at the end of the residency. With the fellowship, we're interested in making a space that doesn't exist anywhere else in society, a creative space where different people with different backgrounds and experiences can come together and respond to climate change in a way that is holistic, immersive, and critical. One of the exciting outcomes of this program is that participants and audiences are developing a curiosity about climate change, leading them to ask more questions, to seek more information out independently, to really have a sustained engagement with climate change issues. Uh, well, I think theater is interesting because it's a different way of trying to communicate some of the issues about climate change. We're used to getting a lot of the information in uh, journal articles or newspaper articles or delivered in a media kind of format where we're just uh, hearing a lot of facts regurgitated at us. Um, but I think theater has a way of visually showing things uh, and not necessarily using words uh, when it's showing us things uh, that can be helpful in, in communicating climate change themes and, and issues and challenges that everyone faces or we will face when trying to make decisions about what we want to happen in the future. A lot of times it's hard for individuals to relate and feel the urgency or even really care about climate change since it's sort of this thing that we can't really see necessarily in a day-to-day -day life. It's hard to feel necessarily the urgency until all of a sudden it's a massive problem. So I think theater plays an important role by sort of cultivating this, um, this emotional response to, to think a little bit more about how do I relate with some of the issues around climate change? How does it make me feel? How can I reflect on this in my everyday life? Our science-based fellows get the unique opportunity to present their research to a group with mixed levels of knowledge in order to prompt critical thinking surrounding their work and to receive immediate feedback on how their work uh, resonates. Our theater-based fellows are challenged to make work in a new way. The process demands that they make performance that asks questions rather than answer them. I think the greatest benefit from this type of collaboration actually comes from the building of community. And so you have um, professionals from, from different areas, you have scientists, you have artists. Um, and this type of collaboration allows everybody to be in the room and have a voice, um, literally, literally and figuratively. Um, and it also, it makes your audience vaster, greater, um, it makes the conversation more inclusive. Ideally, the connections and collaborative practices that are forged in this room will translate to society at large so that more people are talking to each other across disciplines, especially when confronting climate change issues. Our long-term vision for the fellowship is that it becomes an annual program. Over the years, as more and more people pass through this process, our network of scientists and artists will grow. Hopefully this will form new partnerships, new collaborations, and perhaps even the performances that are made during the fellowship will have a future life in order to reach a broad audience. <laughs>